Greetings and welcome to Eurocommerce's video tutorial series. This is Daria with Aura Inc. and today I'll be demonstrating how to configure localization, translation and language settings for the Aura applications. Localization is the process of translating and adapting your online content and system elements to a specific country or region. Translation is only one of several elements involved in the localization process. Additionally, you can modify the source language, location, address and dates formatting method, map settings and other web content to match the customer's cultural preferences in the languages they understand. This solution works effectively for the global market, presenting the product as if it has been created specifically for the target audience. With the integration to the Crowd in Translation service, Aura Commerce has live access to the most recent updates from the Aura team and community. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to add a new language to the system, import and export the corresponding translation texts, and install translation updates from the Crowd in project. Add and modify the system elements translation, create a new localization, and configure its settings on four levels globally, per organization, per website, and per user. Set up the default language for the system elements and website content displayed to the user, both in a star front and in the management console. To begin with, we need to add a new language to the system and check how the localization strategy works under various circumstances. By default, there is only one language predefined out of the box in the OR application. It is English. For our example, we are going to add the German and French languages to demonstrate the most frequent cases. Navigate to System, Localization, Languages in the main menu. Here you can see the list of all the available languages, enabled or disabled for the system, with the translation completion progress, update status, and possible actions to be performed. Click Add Language in the top right corner of the page to trigger the pop-up dialog. Select the German language from the available list. Click Add Language on the bottom right of the dialog. Repeat the same to add the French language as well. Once both languages appear in the list, you can start performing the following actions. The first and major action is to input the file with the system elements translation from the Crowd in website, indicated by the cloud icon. The input becomes available if the status in the Updates column is set to Can be installed or Update is available. It means that the corresponding translation has been provided on the Crowd in website and is available for installation. Click the Cloud icon and then Install in the pop up form to input the translation. Alternatively, you can always provide your own translation in the event the language is unavailable or incomplete in CrowdIn. For this case, let's first click the Download icon to export the file with all the items required for translation. The file should be sent to your email address. Download the file, fill it in with the proper translation of the UI elements. and save it for the future use. Once the translation is completed, click the Upload icon to proceed with the input. Click Choose File and select the file you have prepared. Make sure to select a proper strategy for uploading the file. With the Add and Replace strategy, you add a translation to the elements that had no translation before, and override the existing translation with the one mentioned in the file. However, Reset and Add strategy removes all the existing translation for the selected language and adds only the one mentioned in the file. Click Submit to start the file input. The interactive status message that appears at the top informs you about the input progress. Additionally, an email message with the input status is delivered to your mailbox. Click the Activate icons to enable our languages for the application. Now you need to update the translation cache for the changes to be applied successfully. Click the reference link at the top to get redirected to the translation page. Alternatively, navigate to System, Localization, Translations, 
to reach the same page. The page we have reached is devoted to translations of all the UI system elements resided in the OR application. Here you can view and check the validity of the translation, update it manually, or remove an inappropriate one. Let me explain the logic of the translation displayed on this page. The translations, which are currently displayed to the user in the OR application, are located in the current cached value column. This column inherits the values from the translated value column upon updating the cache. If there is no translation provided for a specific language, the current cache value column is populated with the default English translation mentioned in the English translation column. If the system element doesn't have the English equivalent, the current cache value column takes the value from the key column. Let's check the translation for the French language. Select French from the Languages filter. The translations that were just imported from the Languages page appear in the Translated value column. However, as you can see, not all the UI system elements have a corresponding translation. To modify it, simply double-click the required cell and provide your own version of the proper translation. For our example, let's type in modifier as a French translation of the English word update. Click the Activate icon to save the changes. Click Update Cache on the top right to populate the current cache value column with the updated information from the translated value column. In our case, we see that the word modifier is now displayed in the proper column. Once the necessary language is installed and the corresponding translation is imported, we can proceed to the next significant stages. One is set the language for the UI system elements displayed in the management console and for the user's email notifications. The second one is to configure the appropriate localization and language displayed to the users in the storefront. Let's start with the Management Console language configuration and set French as the default language for the system elements in the Management Console. Navigate to System Configuration in the main menu. In the System Configuration menu to the left, expand General Setup and click Language Settings. Select one or multiple supported languages from the list. For our case, let's select English, French and German. However, as you can see, the French language is not displayed in the list. It means that we haven't enabled it in the Languages main menu. Let's do it now and navigate to System, Localization, Languages menu. Click the Activate icon next to French to enable it. Once enabled, it immediately appears in the list of supported languages. Here it is. Clear the Use Default checkbox and select the default language to cover the content of the OR application management console. Let's select French and check how it works. Click Save Settings to save the configuration. As you see, the UI system elements that have the relevant French equivalents are now displayed in French in the management console. Though the storefront content and system elements remain intact. These language settings are available for customization on three levels – globally, the one we have just described, per organization and per user. That was the way to configure the localization for the management console. Let's now focus on the localization and language settings for the storefront. To enable a particular localization for the storefront, we first need to create one. By default, the English localization is the only available option. However, if you are going to run a web store in the German and French markets, you may want to create a specific localization for them that would make those users feel comfortable working with your web store. To view all the available localizations, navigate to System, Localization, Localizations in the main menu. Here you can view the details of any localization, edit or delete it from the list. Also, you can create a new localization with a specific configuration by clicking Create Localization on the top right. The following page displays. For example, we are going to create two localizations for the German and French markets respectively. 
Let's start with creating a German localization first. Give your localization a meaningful name, which will be displayed in the Management Console. We'll tap in German localization. A title is used in the storefront of your website, allowing users to select the desired language. Let's name it German. Select the German language from the drop-down list. The list is updated immediately once a new language is added and enabled in the Languages menu. Select the language formatting style. We'll also select the German formatting. Choose a parent localization from the available list. If a system element has no translation in the German language, it will be translated to the language of the selected parent localization. If no relations are set, the current localization inherits the English translation equivalence by default. Let's select the English localization to be a parent one anyway. Click Save on the top right. Click the localization's breadcrumb to return to the list of the available localizations. Let's repeat the same and create a French localization. Naming it French localization with French as a title and English as a parent localization. Now you need to update the translation cache so that all the changes are applied successfully. Click the reference link at the top to move to the translations page. Click Update Cache on the top right. Now, once both the German and French localizations are created and the cache is updated, you need to enable them in the System Configuration menu. In the System Configuration, you can define the localization options such as System Locale, Primary Location, Address Formatting Method, System Time Zone, Calendar Year Settings, Temperature and Wind Speed Units on the map. Furthermore, you can set the default language of the UI system elements displayed in the storefront. The system configuration of the localization settings are available on four levels – globally, per organization, per website and per user. This will be helpful, for instance, if the system resides in a different country where the language and monitor settings may differ. For this demonstration, we are going to set the system level localization settings. In the System Configuration menu to the left, expand General Setup and click Localization. System localization options are set to English by default. The configuration on the other levels are pre-populated and logged by default. To modify the system default values, you would need to clear the Use Default checkboxes to enable the drop-down options for each category of information. Locale selection affects formatting of numbers, addresses, names and dates. Primary location refers to the current country and is used to define appropriate address formats. Format address per country flag is used to define whether or not an address should be formatted according to the rules of its country, or if the primary location of the application should be used instead. If the checkbox is selected, the address is displayed in compliance with the rules specified for the country. Time zone defines which time zone should be used to render time and date time values. Select the time zone of your location. All dates and times will be displayed in the specified time zone. First quarter starts on defines the first day of the first quarter. This value is helpful to generate proper reports. In the map settings, select the temperature unit and wind speed unit to display the weather on the map. These values are used to render additional information on location maps, which are displayed on individual contact information. The default values are Fahrenheit and miles per hour. Now you need to select one or multiple enabled localizations from the list to support the translation of the storefront UI elements to the target language. The list is generated automatically based on the data pre-configured in the Localizations menu. For our case, we'll select the English, German and French localizations. For the default localization, we'll select German. Click Save in the top right to save the settings. 
Let's check the changes that the storefront of the application have incorporated following the localization settings updates. Note that the localization configuration concerns only the storefront settings. The Management Console settings remain unchanged. As you can see, all the system elements have inherited the German translation. The elements without a proper German equivalent are translated to the language of the parent localization. In our case, it's English. As you've previously added several supported localizations – English, German and French – in the localization configuration settings, a user has now a possibility to select another language on the top right of the storefront. Upon selecting French, all the UI system elements are displayed to the user in the French language. However, if you check the content of the storefront, you'll see that the product categories, descriptions and other customized information are not translated to German. It's all because they are not the system elements. The content translation for the storefront requires another configuration. Within Aura, you can provide a translation for all the content elements of your storefront, for instance, product names, descriptions, catalog titles, etc. For example, let's provide a translation for one of the product categories. Navigate to Products, Master Catalog in the main menu. Select the category to provide a translation for. We'll select Clothing. Click the Translations icon next to the Clothing title to open the list of available localizations. Provide a spelling for different languages. This way you can translate any content element of your web store. Click Save on the top right. Let's go back to the storefront and reload the page. With the French language selected, we see that our product category is now displayed in French. Changing the language to German will automatically trigger the German translation. That was an in-depth tour into the process of creation and configuration of the localization, translation and language settings provided in the OR application. Thanks for watching. For more video tutorials, please check out the Aura Inc. Media Library and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay informed of the latest tutorials and webinars.